Hello Virgo, welcome to your reading. This is for the 30th of September to the 7th of October and I have pulled out your cards for you to save us time because I value your time Virgo. So let's get started. Our first card, which is your current energy, it says Queen of Cups. It's a water sign. You could be dealing with a water sign. And we have the uh, Six of Wands. And um, I feel like this Queen of Cups, this is the sensitive um, understanding, loving uh, Queen of Cups energy, right? And I see them very focused on this trophy here. Um, this could be about winning. So being focused on winning, but with the uh, empathetic and loving heart. So I'm, I feel like you mean good, and I feel like that that's the energy that you could be in, uh, Virgo. So let's see, what is challenging you here? It says the Knight of Wands and the Emperor card. And uh, the Knight of Wands is talking about being passionate of what you do, um, taking action on um, what you want, of course, being determined, unpredictable, uh, going through impulse. And uh, someone is taking action and achieving this divine masculine energy, right, with this Empress Emperor card. Emperor card is an Aries sign, and it talks about... Um, organization law and order of course um, could be an institution authority so someone may be taking action on making things organized making things orderly um, the way they should um, squarely or I don't know what the English term for that but just perfect like follow the rules per um, policies and all that and they're taking action on that level but with determination and sometimes unpredictability and they go through their impulse i don't know how that would uh, manifest for you virgo but let's see what your desire is here it says your goals the best oh my god virgo this is your card so you are looking forward to becoming who you truly are uh being this wise um loving and loving and knowing your higher self and being connected and being also as a um a light worker as well being a path for others and it's the chariot so i feel like this is your mission and your vision and your life's purpose as being this light worker um <clears throat> virgo and i see anointment like you're being blessed to do this um your guides and angels are with you on this path and if you need help um, in achieving this, you can just call upon them or seek guidance and it will come to you in any way, shape, or form. And then uh, deeper motives here, I have the Three of Wands and the Ace of Wands. So, <laughs> the Three of Wands is like casting your net, right? And uh, waiting for your ships to come. And you could be uh, like contemplating if you'll get a lot of fish on that net you know you would catch lots of fish on that net or what kind of uh return of investment you're going to get um and this talks about the ace of ones is like uh the energy being offered from the universe and it's this life force this release um this energy boost of energy that you got a hint and now you're walking to that path um, and it's a journey, right? Because this is like a hint from the universe and hey, there's a path here for you oh, being opened. You are ready to take this path and this is what you're going to get at the end. So there's that um, message from the universe with the path that you're taking and they can see you and they've shown you the way here, Virgo, and they're with you on the journey. So let's see what is what caused it in the past. Again, I see your energy here. This is a... Uh, nine of coins um it says that it's also about um it's a sign of virgo as well so what more can i ask for and um virgo energy it talks about security stability happy with your own skin you could be a single a single um lady or gentleman or however your pronoun is you could be a single with this card right and then there's the devil card so i feel like there's codependency you could be like too attached to 
the comfortability you're in in your life and there may be a need to get out of the comfort zone with the devil card and tie yourself from maybe being comfortable to comfortable can we call it like a, also a toxic energy because it's not you know bringing the it's not giving you good things but you're already getting the good things so I'm just you know someone thinking analyzing things here just like Virgo would but the uh, futuristic possibility here is the ten of cups wow the nine of wands and the ten of cups so the ten of cups is like embracing your blessings being grateful you're just happy whatever level of success you're in you're just happy with what you have you have people loving you you have pets you have children you have kids and if you're single you know you can do whatever you want and um you're still very healthy and strong and you're you're taking on this road to success right and there's this and there's this nine of um wands here and this is our wounded warrior card and it's stripping off the some of the energy of the ten of cups here so it's saying that maybe you're because sometimes i would say the nine of uh, wands is that skeptical you know um wanting to see if this person has hidden motives hidden agenda they're not uh that innocent into trusting one person um there could be something hidden going on <laughs> that you don't see but wherever you are in your life virgo the in this futuristic possibility is that you have achieved some kind of contentment here and which is truly amazing um whatever journey you're in you've achieved success already and the advice here is the five of swords and the star so the five of swords of course it talks about hurting someone right change on your perception towards others like you've had your first trauma maybe someone hurt you or bullied you or it's just it's no longer sunshine and sunny days something you got tainted let's say and i see that there's healing healing with a star card here it's coming for you it's going to be better from here on, on onwards um luck is at your fingertips it says and there, it's going to be you're going to get yourself back your your what you've lost will come back um whether that be your youthful glow your like you can see both sides of the coins not just uh, one side and you can balance things out again compromise what needs to be compromised and yeah i feel like that's some kind of a liberation um and to see like the vastness of your territory this plane that you're standing on and it just feels so good and um thank you so much for watching virgo i hope you get out of that something out of that and you have a wonderful rest of your day guys i'll talk to you next time take care Bye bye